Hey guys, if you're 91, and I'm talking about the Nintendo PlayStation. Now, for those who don't know, Nintendo and Sony used to be partners. They had this whole agreement to make this console and to sell it and whatnot, but they couldn't agree on the terms. I'm not sure exactly what the details were, but I believe Sony wanted to be like, Nintendo will make all the profit on the console itself, and they would make all the profit on the software sales or something like that. And Nintendo was not into that because if you know anything about consoles, most of the money is software. So Nintendo basically kind of pulled out and then they sold all the stuff to, I think it was Philips, who was a competitor of Sony at the time. And that was very bad. So Sony went on to make the PlayStation and Nintendo went on to make the SNES. But this Nintendo PlayStation actually was sold for $360,000. Now you got to know it would sell for a lot because there probably are very few of these out there because this was never actually brought to market. These are like this, the prototypes I'm assuming. And barely anyone would actually have these because Nintendo and Sony's deal fell through. $360,000 for a console basically means I'm not going to play it because you wouldn't risk breaking your $360,000 console. It's just one of those things. If you pay too much for something, are you going to really enjoy it? Because you're going to be like, wait, 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 you know, I paid a lot for this, so I don't want it broken or anything like that. Honestly, the person's probably just going to hang it somewhere in a collection and wherever they put it. I doubt they'll really play it like that. So it, whatever, you know, if you got the money, I'm not going to tell you what to do with it. I just wouldn't buy it for that price. But this actually got me thinking, like, what would have happened if Nintendo and Sony didn't have the fall through? What would happen if they actually did release the Nintendo PlayStation? I mean, how would the gaming landscape have changed? Imagine Sony and Nintendo having a partnership that actually lasted through all the console generations. Imagine them both being against Sega. Imagine them both then being against Microsoft basically together. Imagine all Sony and Nintendo's exclusives being on one console. I feel like Microsoft wouldn't even have stood a chance like that, though it may have simply because it was the only other console out if no one else decided to join the game. Now, I'm not saying it would have been better had they never split up, but it is interesting to think about. But alas, it didn't happen and they split up. And, and one of the biggest things that we have to remember, their partnership seems to be this console that sold for higher than most houses in the U.S. Anyway, what do you guys think about this console selling for around $360,000. And what do you guys think would happen had Nintendo and Sony never broken off and remain partners to this very day? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.